Hello, my name is Jim Thompson. I'm the Fish Passage Coordinator for the State of Maryland Department of Natural Resources, and I'm standing in the former impoundment of the Centerville Dam. This time last year, I would have been up to my neck in thick, soupy sediment. Now this stretch of river bottom has been restored to a more natural sandy bottom, and the river has returned to its free-flowing state. Since the late 1800s, thousands of dams were built in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. These dams changed the local ecosystem and degraded water quality. They also blocked access for migratory fish like shad, herring, and American eel. The Centerville Dam was removed in the summer of 2015 to reopen habitat for migratory fish and to remove a dam that was no longer serving a useful purpose for the local town. The Maryland Department of Natural Resources, working with American Rivers, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and others, secured grant funding to hire contractors to remove the structure and stabilize the stream banks. The project proved challenging due to the soft, deep sediments that were trapped behind the dam over the last century. Traditional wood mats, also known as crane mats, proved ineffective at providing a stable work platform for the heavy equipment needed to grade the banks and create a new channel. With the dam breached and time running out to complete the project under budget, DNR reached out to the experts at Maybe, a construction equipment rental company in Elk Ridge, Maryland. Maybe professionals offered an affordable solution by installing their interlocking composite mats to construct a temporary roadway along the stream. The mats are designed to distribute weight evenly, allowing heavy equipment such as excavators and cranes to access areas that were previously inaccessible. The mats easily supported the contractor's equipment on this job, allowing us to safely and efficiently complete the job on time. Now, one year later, the dam is gone and the river has returned to a more natural stream channel and the stream banks are fully vegetated. Trees that were planted in the fall will continue to grow and eventually provide shade and further stability for the stream banks. This project highlights work the DNR, American Rivers, the Fish and Wildlife Service, NOAA, and many others are doing to remove dams and restore fish passage in the Chesapeake Bay.